Have you ever had a dog that is retching, oh, now, like swallowing at the air, acting really uncomfortable? Your dog may have acid reflux. These are some remedies to consider. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe. Hit the bell to sign up for notifications. Then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. You've probably had this, right? You eat a bunch of crazy things, you know, chocolate mixed in with lettuce, mixed in with some type of high fat thing, mixed in with somebody's questionable fruitcake. A couple hours later, you're like, Ugh, you got this pain in your stomach. Like it almost feels like it's coming into your chest. You've got a heartburn. And guess what? Our dogs can get something similar. This can be challenging to diagnose. It's not a super common condition in our dogs. But if your dog is having some of these GI symptoms, you know, a few hours after eating, sometimes they can just be fine and all of a sudden, you relate it to yourself having heartburn. Like all of a sudden it just kind of hits and it's really painful. So they're gonna act almost in pain. Maybe they're retching, they're kind of swallowing. But there's a good chance what they have is acid reflux. And these are some remedies you should be considering. So first you're modifying the diet. You're feeding smaller meals, far less fat, far less protein. You want that way, one, it's easy to digest. Secondarily, it means the stomach is gonna produce less acid. They're just gonna be less reflux. Uh, this guy, we've talked about it a lot. Pepsid, the drug name is Femonity. It's the most common over-the-counter antacid used in veterinary medicine. Um, we're looking at standard dog doses, about 2.5 milligrams per 10 pounds daily. Meaning a little two less, you get about a half a tablet. And this would be something you wanna sort of give as needed. It's not something you're regularly using, but when there's a serious attack, you want to dramatically decrease acid production. This is quite effective. Number two, it's a tea. And this guy, chamomile, it is a great option. Of all the different teas, it's one which has been shown to be a natural antacid, super safe. So our dogs have any type of upset stomach, you can consider chamomile, especially if you're dealing with acid reflux. I would suggest you substitute their water for chamomile. Mm. It's a safe, potentially very effective, natural option. Number three, probably should be number one. I've been using it, it works so well. What is it? It's this guy, Slippery Elm, one of my favorite plants. The Slippery Elm works by making this like slippery paste that will coat the inflamed esophagus, the inflamed stomach naturally decreasing the inflammation, secondarily naturally decreasing the amount of acid that that's gonna damage and cause all the clinical signs. Super good option. My own experience, I've got some like acid reflux. I've tried like Pepsi, I've tried chamomile. This has been the ticket. How would you give this to your dog? Well, a standard dose is about one 400 milligram tablet per 20 pounds daily. Little Tula were to have acid reflux signs be getting one of these capsules. I mean, the easiest way is to just pop it right into her mouth. And I'm just gonna give her one. She's been a bit eh today, so that's just, and it's easy. We just put it, pop it into the back of her throat, follow it up with her finger, and I'm just gonna swallow that. Yay! I can still pill, hooray. So if your dog has signs of acid reflux, you know, get a diagnosis first. You're talking to your veterinarian. But based on some of those clinical signs, you know, it's a few hours after eating, you know, they're maybe they're swallowing at the air, they're gulping, kind of retching, or acting really uncomfortable. Sometimes they stretch out. It's probably acid reflux. And then when I sort of go back retrospectively, I can't think of many dogs I diagnosed it with, meaning I probably missed it. But that being said, you figured it out, you figured out this is what your dog has. Consider some of these remedies. Let me know if they've been helpful or not. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets on acid reflux in dogs. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.